Evan Baum, what's good, brother? Thank you for reaching out to me regarding this paper that you're working on. The topic is barefoot running, and thank you for thinking of me first. I will answer these questions to the best of my ability, and let's get you an A. The first question that you ask, how did I get involved in barefoot running? Well, there was a time last year when I was wearing a minimalist shoe, the Vibram Five Finger, and was enjoying an experience that was not duplicated by anything that I had ever experienced prior to my first experience running with a shoe with such a reduced soul. Um, it allowed me to experience the train in a very profound way, but with someone that enjoys taking things to the next level, I wanted to try something different. No longer was I content simply being somebody in a movie theater watching the movie. I wanted to be the movie. I wanted to interact with my surroundings in a way that made me them. So the first time that I took off my shoes, I felt exactly what the pavement felt. I felt the temperature. I felt the agonizing pain of a tiny pebble. I felt the cooling sensation of grass after a nice subtle rain. That connectedness with my surroundings has catapulted me to the level of always wanting to experience what it was that I was stepping on to understand it directly rather than just having uh, a false perception of what it may be that, that I'm treading along. How does the barefoot community communicate is your second question. Uh, with the emergence of social media, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, it's been absolutely amazing to see people from all around the world interact. Uh, it's easy to simply type in barefoot running into a search engine and instantly be catapulted into someone else's universe of creativity and, and expression through what they're feeling, their journey. It's, it's, shared, it's shared experiences, but also you'll find very hilarious quirks about people from, from different backgrounds and different cultures and I see it more as a unity that that, that is created through through the emergence of, of social media but I'm glad that it's here it's made a profound and positive impact. Uh, three, what sort of language is used within the community? Well you hear a lot about uh, forefoot and uh, heel striking. Forefoot is the strike that, that you'll exhibit while barefoot running, and that's simply just the ball of your foot, landing on the ball of your foot. You hear about tactile sensation, which is the, uh, the many sensors, thousands of sensors that are located on our feet. So every time that we land, those, tactile, uh, that, those sensors send messages to our brain. So the tactile sensation is simply the sensation of those tiny little sensors and what they deliver to our brain and how we perceive those things. Uh, foot coffin was, I believe, coined by a friend of mine, Barefoot Ted, who was describing shoes. I thought that, uh, thought that was somewhat funny, and I, I continue to use that in a lot of my uh, posts. Also, uh, Unshod. Unshod describes running with no shoes on. Those are pretty much the main ones that I hear thrown around. Uh, four, how is the community perceived by society? I mean, how does society look look at barefoot runners? Um, you know, it's 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 difficult to really comment on on how society collectively looks upon a community of people doing what they're passionate about. Because as I've uh, as I've come to believe is that everyone has a separate separate opinion about whatever it is that they want to to articulate sometimes it's negative sometimes it's positive but where i stand is the is the focal point of 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 my interaction is that i want to remain positive in a light and in, in a light of love where my passion for what i'm doing which is running is expressed through me personally so therefore what someone says does not deter me in any one bit of what I'm doing because what I'm doing is something much more than myself and I'm celebrating movement which is exercising my body and it's more praising but to some people it probably looks crazy it looks outlandish it looks ne neanderthalish but to me you know I'm simply doing what I love and, and that's that's where I stand on that 
In what ways do I think the community looks to progress further? Uh, I hope and I place my positive intention that the barefoot uh, community can look past the duality that we seem to pose between folks that choose to wear shoes and folks that are choosing not to. Duality only creates a division between individuals and that's not we that's not what we want to focus on. We want to look to place all of our emotion into uplifting others to allow others to be passionate about things that they truly feel inspired about and it's through this that we create uh, an abundance of of, of sharing of, of being united with 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 nature once more and I feel once we do that then we're able to alleviate a lot of the suffering that we experience on a daily basis we're all related in this thing we're all trying our best so let's make it easy on each other and realize that running is free thank you Kabaya Blanco for allowing me to use that statement Evan I hope that these answers uh, delight you and are able to uplift your your perspective of barefoot running and I appreciate you once again reaching out to me for this take care brother peace <laughs>